three things ventilation duct a container and a fan so basically what i'm planning to do is i'm planning to make a homemade heater because i have never seen that before i have seen many cooling devices but never a heater before so basically this heater is going to be powered by water so what i'm planning to do is i'm going to take this duct right and i'm going to put it inside a container then i'm going to fill the container up with very very hot water now basically the duct itself is actually made out of tin foil which is a very thin material and thin material in this scenario is good because the outside temperatures are going to affect the inside temperatures because of the thin material so basically i'm going to cut two holes in the container lid an inlet and an outlet all right and then basically the duct will go through these two holes right the fan is going to be connected to the inlet so it's going to suck cold air and then it's going to blow the cold air through the duct and then that beautiful hot air is going to blow i think it's pretty brilliant because i was thinking to myself okay a radiator is quite a cool concept but you don't really see any small radiators you see so and that's cheating so i thought to myself okay the material i'm gonna make my own radiator and this is to show you that the concept actually works all right so let's build this small radiator of mine now the first thing you may be asking is why did i choose a small fan that's because i don't want to blow the air faster than it's heating up because if i did that it's not it's not going to work second is i don't want to use a bigger fan because it's too loud like why should i use a big fan and it's just super super noisy it's not really it doesn't really work nicely right so the first step is i'm going to boil some water um and then i'm going to pour it into the container right turns out the container can hold this hot water which is very important all right it turns out that one um one kettle later it's still not enough water so i'm going to boil more water and add more water to the container so basically my uh, calculations state that this container should take about four liters but i'm not going to fill it all the way to the top i'm just going to fill just enough but the first problem is the um, the ducting is uh, buoyant it's floating so i'm going to use these metal bearings metal ball bearings to weigh the duct down so it reaches the bottom and then i'm going to pour more water into the container right but as you can see the ducting is raising above the water so i'm going to add more weight to the ducting so it goes under the water right and that should be just enough water to prove that this concept works all right as you can see there's plenty of surface area exposed to the water and guess what it works basically what it feels like is it feels like a warm breath but not similar to a warm breath just a little bit hotter than a warm breath but in the same category of a warm breath but it actually works as you can see i'm really spending a lot of time on this heater because it's actually working it's not blowing cold air anymore it's blowing nice warm air
all right so the water right now is setting roughly under 80 degrees celsius and that's a good thing because it proves that heat is being produced and the water is being cooled down in the process By the way, this is a 12 volt fan that I'm using. So yeah, just extra information. As you can see, all those ball bearings inside the ducting weighing it down. Oh, I cannot believe this project was successful. As you can see, the fan is actually blowing air. Um, it's not like the fan is just spinning and it's not blowing anything. This machine is amazing. Basically, you have this and you can adjust it in any direction you want. You have the temperature gauge. As you can see, right now the temperature is sitting at, let's see, almost 60 degrees Celsius, about 65 degrees Celsius. And there we have the cooling fan. Look at that. The reason I chose a nice small cooling fan is because i didn't want it too noisy and cooling the air too fast and basically look at that beautiful machine oh it's gorgeous and then i put bearings like metal bearings inside this to weigh it down because it was floating up oh I, I i'm even feeling like sweating right now it is hot it's not like boiling hot, but I think it's um, uh, humidity. But basically the temperature coming out of here is quite, you can feel it. You can feel the temperature difference. It's not like boiling, boiling hot or super, super warm, but it's noticeable, which is awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please consider liking or subscribing. I hope to see you in another video and let me just tell you something if i put ice in this thing it would be crazy it would be a beast a bit i could freeze my hands if i put it in front of this thing right here all right laters